Hi, everybody. I'm Zilla Blitz, and welcome to another episode of American Truck Simulator. Today, we're going to get a dog. Yes, we're going to explore a mod. So we're going to install Sissel's Mega Pack. We're going to take a look at how to do that. Then we're going to go in the game, and our mission is very simple. We're going to go try to go find a dog to ride with us in the cabin, because we can take a look here uh, to get to Sissel's Mega Pack first. Let's talk a little bit about the installation. From your home library uh, page in Steam, it's just one of the workshop mods. So I'm going to click on American Truck Simulator, which we've got running and showing here. Then the workshop button. If you can't see it, there'll be three dots on the right-hand side, and you can click that to open it up. Once you've opened up the workshop, we're going to search for S-I-S-L-M-E-G-A, uh, with a space between those, Sissel Mega. And that one click will bring up the very first thing is Sissel's Mega Pack. We're going to click on that. And then we're going to click to subscribe. Now, I've already subscribed, but you just click the green button and you should see a little check mark there that says subscribed and you have successfully installed the mod on in your game. Now, you might want to give it a few minutes. I've heard people say it's pretty big, so it might take a little while for it to download into your game from Steam. But once that's taken care of, now let's go into the game and let's install the mod and then let's go see if we can find a dog. Oh, one thing I should say too, it's more than just a dog. One of the things about this mod there are, I think, over 500 items now, and they're all cabin accessories. Now, there's one caveat, too, we should mention. You have to have and installed the cabin accessories DLC. If you don't have that, this mod won't work. So don't try it. It will break your game. I have seen some comments down below where certain things may not work in certain configurations, but I think for the most part, it seems like a pretty stable mod. Lots of things in here. If we look at these pictures, you can have passengers in your truck. So we have lots of things to explore. There's some Star Wars themes. Here is Rex the dog. That's our mission. Yeah, lots of things. Newbies, another passenger, all kinds of fun stuff to explore. Let's get started. Let's go into the game and activate the mod. All right, so we've launched American Truck Simulator. We're gonna go into the mod manager by clicking the yellow button in the middle of the screen. And we can see here now that Sissel's Mega Pack has been installed. We're just gonna click on it to highlight it, then click on the little arrow in the middle here that pushes it into the uh, load order. Now, there's not much information on the, on the Steam page or cruising around the net as to where this should go in the priorities. I did read some stuff that says it should go in the middle and you want it higher priority, so higher up in the load order than any special truck mods that you might have. Now, we don't have any of those installed. All we have are the weather mods and the sound fixes. So I'm going to decrease the priority here to put it to the bottom of this because I think all of these things should load before the mega pack loads. If we have some troubles, I might screw around with the load order, but I think we're going to be pretty safe with it this way. Now we've got it in where we want it, so the mega pack is down here behind our weather mods, and I don't have any truck mods installed, so we're good to go. Let's confirm the changes and let's see how this works. I'm going to jump right now into continue game. It's going to take a minute for us to sign in. Today, too, I think I saw a load in the game. I think we're going to carry some dynamite for about a 13 hour delivery. And our goal, as we mentioned before, is to get a new truck. We want to definitely get our third truck. We need more money. It's time to stop screwing around with like painting the truck and buying little knickknacks, although we are going to buy a dog today. But we're going to focus, except for the dog, we're going to focus on getting another truck. And we have $81,500 right now. So we only need about $40,000 to get another truck. I think I want to get a Peterbilt, get another truck, and then get a hire another driver. So that's our mission. Let's go get a uh, job market here, external contracts. See if the dynamite is still there. It might be gone now. Yeah, it's looking gone, isn't it? No dynamite for us. Well, I'm gonna find a job, then I'll be right back. Up oh, here it is, it's still here. We found it, dynamite from Burns, Oregon, where we are right now, down to Santa Cruz, and there is a repair shop right close to where we are, so we're gonna visit there and see if we can get Rex, our dog, to ride with us. 13 hour drive is gonna be taking us to the Southwest down into California. Let's get started. Oh goodness, that's, that's right. well, we have lots of problems to solve here. <laughs> I forgot, so um, we have some problems to solve before we go pick up this up. Uh, we're dead tired here, we've got to go sleep. And I did set the weather from the last episode where it was always snowing. So let's fix that thing first, gameplay. We're gonna go in here and I think I had rain probability. I did turn it down a little bit. Let's turn it down a little bit more to right about 40%. All right, that seems pretty good. And now I'm gonna go get some sleep first too. It's the middle of the night, I think, right? And we are exhausted, but there is a place to sleep right nearby. So we'll get this sorted out here. Don't wanna drive sleepy, that's for sure. We know that from previous episodes, don't we? 
All right, let's get going here. Get the lights on. Lights are on. Good. High beams are on. Let me find a place to sleep. Get that set up. Where is the sleeping place? Because we definitely need to sleep first. Uh, we are. Wow, there's a place to sleep is. Closest one is over here. We'll go get the dog. Then we'll come back for the dynamite. That's going to work out fine. We, we need to sleep first. So looks like out, right, left. Okay, we got this. Let's go. Maybe that will get the snow to stop too. All righty. Looks like we'll go out this way. So we'll get started here. Drive a little bit in the snow. Then uh, go see if we can find a place to sleep. Gate's opening up. So we'll check in after I get some sleep. And once we get going here, this will be good. Then we should be driving mostly in the daytime. All righty. We have reached a place to sleep here. We'll just pull over now. Get some sleep. Excited to go for a nice long drive. Okay, 350. It's still snowing. Gosh. Oh, Ahmed couldn't find a job and had to return empty. Fuel and maintenance costs are minus 330. Our drivers are so bad. Gosh. We have to hire a good third driver. Okay. Oh, let's go to the repairs here. It must be over the heck of the repairs. That's a way station. That's not what we want. Are they on the other side here? I know there's a place to get it fixed somewhere. Must be over here. Don't see it. Ah, oh, there it is. Somewhere around here. We're going to find Rex the dog. Where is it? There it is. All right. So let's pull in here and see. Oh, wow, this doesn't look like the uh, most reliable place here, but it's open. All right, service. We get some service on this too. 200 bucks, repair stuff, let's do that. And let's kick out of here now and truck configurator. Here we go, let's go inside and see if we can find, we're gonna replace the hamburgers with a dog. So there should be a ton, look at this, there's just so much more stuff. Pokemon, there's so much stuff from this Sizzle pack in here. Pink teddy bear, wow, Ben Kenobi, cool, Aika. She can ride with this. I want the dog though. Where is it? Luke Skywalker. <laughs> I kind of feel like we almost have to get Luke Skywalker, but here it is, Rex. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's where Rex is gonna go. Confirm order. We'll just get that for right now. And so there go the hamburgers. And now we should have Rex, the dog. I'm kind of liking this mod already. This is pretty cool. Is he here? There he is. Can't really see him too well, but when the daylight, when the sun comes up here, We'll get, we'll get uh, Rex going here. So let's get our truck going here. Got to go pick up our dynamite. Could possibly go wrong with dynamite, right? Hell, there we go. Lights on. All right, so we'll get back out on the highway here. And let's connect as soon as we get to our uh, dynamite pickup. All right, so we are almost to this dynamite pickup. It's, it's a looking a little suspicious out here. I mean, we're in the middle of the snowstorm. It's 4.30 at night. We're in some kind of a construction zone here. All there is is this lone trailer there, and we're picking up dynamite. I'm mighty suspicious about this load. I guess there's a front, there's a one of these construction trucks here too. Maybe it's not quite so suspicious, but here is our load. So if we can get this hooked up. Now this will pay us a nice hefty, ch hefty chunk of change. I think 30 something thousand. So this alone, might get us pretty close to the 121,000, 120,000 we need for um, buying another truck. The Peterbilt, I think, is 118, and I think it's probably about 2,000 to hire a driver. All right, there we are. Let's take a look what we got. Just a bland yellow trailer loaded up with dynamite. <laughs> I like it. All right, how do we get out of here? Can we go right to get out of here, I think? Looks like we can just go straight and turn to the right, correct? Let's try it. <clears throat> All right, so 13 hours and six minutes, and it has been snowing for that whole past episode as well as this episode so far. I'm hoping, kind of hoping that the snow stops at some point here, because as much fun as we were kind of begging for snow for a long time, and now it's just constantly snowing. Yeah, we can get out this way. It looks good. So we'll get moving here. A lot of things to chat about and uh, we'll get out a little bit, get through burns here, see if we can get on the highway and maybe talk as the sun's coming up. So probably get another hour of driving here before that happens. All right, so we're about uh, a little bit over an hour into the drive now. Looks like this 
darkness is start. Yep, here comes the daylight. Just starting to get lighter, but it's still kind of this gray, mucky, ethereal soup of wet snow everywhere. I'm hoping that as we get close to California, the weather will turn in our favor a little bit. But so far, we're just kind of seeing the extension of this long snowstorm that we've seen for like two episodes or so. But we're making our way across Oregon down towards California. I think we're going to we dip into Nevada a little bit as well. So uh, not too much traffic, making pretty good time now, although it's hard sometimes to go quite close to the speed limit because I can't really see very far in front. So safety first. That's us, as you know. Anyway, things to chat about. I want to say a couple things. Um, first of all, about here's here's Rex. We need a I, whoops. <laughs> Probably should drive instead of playing with the dog. We need a name for our dog. What should we call him? I mean, Rex is his official name, but I think we can we can do something a little bit different than that, right? I bet. By the way, not to get too distracted. I bet this is this looks really beautiful if we could see it. Except with the snowstorm, it's kind of hard to see much out there. But yeah, I think we definitely need a name for our dog. So let me know what you think down in the comments down below. And I do want to say thank you to that where I spotted this was Parkera, who is the driver who intro the the guy who introduced me to the truck simulator series about a year and a half ago, maybe now. And when I watched, so I watched him drive. Whoa, we're going kind of fast. Here. Yeah. I watched him drive and I thought, ah, that looks kind of fun. And now, well, here we are, right? So I tried it out and everything like that. So he's the guy who introduced me to the game and he took a break from YouTube for a while, but he's back making Truck Simulator episodes again. So if you like these episodes, you might also enjoy his episodes. And where I saw the dog was in, oh, it's really hard to look at the dog and drive, by the way. Um, I saw his, a dog in his cab, and then I thought, where do you get this cab? So I kind of poked, where do you get the dog? So I kind of poked around and found out about Sissel's Mega Pack. So thanks to Parkera for introducing the dog. But by all means, please go check out uh, his channel if you have a moment. It's uh, good stuff. He's just back. I think he's got maybe two or three episodes now in. He was up exploring Wyoming a little bit because uh, the DLC was new to him. So he's up there kind of putzing around Wyoming and doing stuff around there, too. So. Anyway, it's good to have him back on the scene, and we might do... There's more trees in the road. Wow. Uh, we may do a joint episode together as well, kind of a, a convoy episode at some point. But uh, we'll keep making our way through this snowy winter wonderland. It is kind of cool up here with all the, the pine trees and stuff like that. This is a fun drive. So um, we'll keep chugging along and uh, touch base maybe once we get about, uh, about a third of the way through the drive or so. So see you in a little bit. God, nine hours left. Look down on the bottom right. Driver Jana K couldn't find a job and had to return empty. Fuel costs and maintenance cost $1,700. Our two drivers in the time that we've been driving have cost us $2,000. They're losing us money. Jana K, Ahmed, get your acts together. I feel like we should just fire him. I feel like we should just like start over. I'm not sure quite what's wrong with them. The, the thought that I did have was there was a comment a while ago, and I, I don't recall the, the name of the poster who put it up, but I, there's been kind of a conversation kind of off and on in some of the comments going on about uh, the importance of picking the right city. And I'm just wondering if like Eugene, Oregon is a really bad city to have a base or it's just something about the way that we've developed the drivers, but they sure seem like they're just not making very much money compared to any other well i guess the drivers we've had in euro truck simulator for one thing for sure because they both they cost us two thousand bucks they've been driving for like months now with us it's not like they're like raw beginners they're both actually have some pretty good skills and stuff but they're costing us money we're going the wrong way with them 1700 we kind of knew that though because we checked on her before remember she had that she was driving like 48 hours without anything on the back of her trailer <sighs> Time for a, a company meeting here, maybe. Or maybe we need like a company retreat or something. Go we'll do something fun. Anyway, it's still snowing. We're still plowing along through this white mist of stuff. It's about uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. We've got eight and a half hours left to go. Uh, it's been kind of slow. I, wanted to, I don't want to say, you know, slow going, but a lot of these little towns that you have to slow down for, and sometimes with the snow I can't really see or we get behind some trucks and stuff that are going slow but we're making steady time but I wouldn't say we're making really good time but we'll keep going on hoping that I would guess by the time we get to California right it can't be snowing like this it doesn't snow in California right in Southern California anyway it doesn't even rain in Southern California we'll keep moving though
it is actually kind of i like one thing i will say about this kind of snow i like the snow in the woods like this this feels pretty cool and you get the trees on both sides and snow it's, it's kind of it's kind of cool I'm, I'm enjoying this so we are over halfway now and we're somewhere at some point packed back there we crossed into nevada because we just went through reno which is actually our first city despite having i don't I don't guess about 60, 70 hours of driving in the game now. First time to get into Nevada. We've just seemed to have consistently missed it here. So we've got our first of 10 Nevada cities now, working towards that achievement, but a little bit, uh, little bit over halfway. It's still been snowing <laughs> the whole way at the same pace and stuff like this, but uh, we're making better time now. Traffic has lightened up. We were behind a cement truck that was going so slow for about an hour or so, but he went a different way now. So now we're on this uh, divided highway and uh, seem to be making pretty good time. Well, it's a curvy one. Be careful of these curves on the divided highways. But one of the things I thought I wanted to talk about was a comment that came up on the the forum, on the, the last video, I think it was, or one of the earlier videos. I think it was the last American Truck Simulator video. And um, it kind of reminded me of the conversation, the ideas before talking about, like, what would be features you would like to see in the game? And I think at some point I want to accumulate all those and put those into some kind of a features wish, wish list video but I thought this one was particularly good and I'm gonna put it up here on the screen because this comes from Demian who is a truck driver he doesn't play the game but somehow he found the videos and he was kind of commenting about some of the things and giving some uh, backing up advice too which was very greatly appreciated whoa a little dangerous there sometimes a little tricky to drive and talk but now I'm gonna do something even harder, which is to read a comment off on the left side and talk at the same time. So here was uh, Demian's idea. He said, and I'll put it up there, do they have any backing mini games or hardcore training modes? Something where you're just putting loads on doors over and over. I would love that. And it made me think, you know, the, the idea, do they have any backing mini games or like a tutorial or training area backing up and it's like that would be so cool and like why isn't that in the game because i see a lot of people well i'm going really fast here we're gonna crash all right there's a name we're going through a place coming up here i don't know if you can see it on the newbie it's called trucky that's that's a real place huh that's kind of cool i wonder if we're gonna get credit for going through it here because we're kind of going past it and we will need to sleep. I think we got about three hours of time where we have to sleep. But I thought Demian's idea was pretty cool. I mean, wouldn't it be great if they had a series of like, you know, 10 to 15 different tutorials with varying degrees of parking routes that they could guide you through and you could get some experience for it or something like that. Because what I do see, I see, I, I kind of watch every once in a while, I'll go around, I'll poke and I'll watch some people driving YouTube videos and watch a lot of people driving and everything like that. And I notice a number of people who, um, I'm not sure if it's, in, not, they don't feel comfortable backing up. And it's by far, I think, the hardest thing to do in the game is to back one of these things up. And I think there's not really much in the game that helps you kind of ease into that process. You just kind of got to figure it out. You got to just say, I'm going to back up. I'm going to do this until I get it right. And it takes a lot. I mean, you can even see now, you know, I mean, I probably backed up a, a I don't know, a hundred, maybe a hundred deliveries or 200 deliveries in the games, which isn't really that much when you think about it, but I screw them up all the time, you know, cause it's, it's tricky sometimes. If you're just a little bit tired or you make a little bit of a mistake in judgment, especially I think if you do it first person, like we do in this one, which is you stay in the cab, you know, our house rule in case people aren't familiar with it, the house rule for the game is that when the truck is moving, I use this first person view, like I'm sitting in the cab. So I don't allow any of these like exterior views or anything like that when I'm driving, except maybe to take like a kind of a look at the scenery or something like that. So I feel like that's hard because then you have, you know, the blind side back off your right side. If you're going there, you have to kind of use the mirrors. And I, I suppose these mirrors are a little bit, whoa, a little bit unrealistic. But for the most part, you know, I think like, I, I mean, I like the backing up. I think it's really challenging. I think it's really fun. And it's, you know, even after doing it a lot, I still feel like I have a lot to learn. And especially now that I've been switching back and forth between Euro Truck Simulator, oh, it's a big hill, and American Truck Simulator, I feel like it's um, it's tricky to adjust from one game to the other. I feel like I'm getting better at it now, but the turning radius on the Euro, the European trucks is just so much tighter. You can really kind of guide that trailer any which way you want to put it. Whereas with the U.S., because that turning radius is just not as quick, you kind of have to anticipate what you go, what you're doing, and just. It's a little bit more, I think, tactical rather than it is reactive 
uh, like the European backing up is. And each one has its own challenges and stuff like that. But I like now that we're kind of adjusting between the two games. I feel like when you've got this big thing of steam in front, I have no idea when one of these cars is going to stop. Now there's a lot of traffic. After I just mentioned there really isn't much traffic. We are just stuck in traffic now. 40 miles an hour in a 55 mile an hour zone. The eternal snowstorm. But anyway, I like Demian's idea and I asked if it would be okay if we put it into the, uh, the list of ideas for that features episode. And he said, by all means, go ahead. So uh, thanks for that cool idea. And uh, we'll keep driving along here. We got about four hours left. At some point we're gonna reach California. And at some point, I hope, eventually, in one of these drives, the snow will stop. It's funny, you get what you wish for and then sometimes you just don't want that much of it anymore. But we'll keep moving along in the winter wonderland. By the way, what a great pet. He's awesome. I don't wanna look at him too much. So name the pet, please. We need a name. He's just such a great partner. Remember, Digi used to rule. Digi rules the world. Used to be in our. Used to be one of our passions. But I think since he's the rule ruler, rule the ruler of the world, he really hasn't been around very much anymore. So I miss him having a as a hitchhiker and passenger in the truck here. But uh, so this is maybe we should call him Digi. Digi rules the dog. <laughs> anyway, I'm babbling. We'll see you in a little bit as we get closer to our final destination. So we have uh, our signal indicator for sleep here has turned bright red again and there actually wasn't a place to sleep on the route that was anywhere convenient and we're almost out of gas too so we're going a little bit out of our ways here we should have taken a right back there we're going a little bit out of our ways here to make sure we get sleep before we get that passing out scene again and we uh we're gonna get some gas here so looks like we've got about two and a half hours to go before we're there uh, so we'll just kind of recharge here and see if maybe the snow stops. And we'll definitely be delivering, dropping our dynamite off into California in the nighttime. I wonder what they'll be using dynamite for in California. But anyway, we're doing okay. I feel like there's a car in there. Nope. All right. So we'll go get sleep, get gas, and get back on the road. We'll see you uh, in a little bit after we uh, take care of business. Right, so we just slept. I'm not sure if you can see it down below. Jenna Kay just did a job and she made a whopping $261. Wow, that's amazing. Jenna Kay raking in the big bucks for us here. My steering wheel, by the way, is starting to make some odd noises. I'm starting to think that the new steering wheel plan might be a little bit. I have to get that a little. Wow, it's close. Get that a little bit sooner than later. Anyway, we're back on the highway here. Two and a half hours or so to go before we drop our dynamite off in California. The snowstorm has not abated. The massive, the mega snowstorm of two episodes. I think it's been snowing now for about 48 hours straight, no matter where we go. But we're making our way towards California. Eventually, it's got to stop snowing, right? Oh, hey, I think we might be on the Golden Gate Bridge, <laughs> but I can't see it <laughs> because it's dark and snowing. Yeah, that's cool because we just discovered San Francisco. So I think oh, I have to come back in a better weather in the daytime when it's not snowing <laughs> because I can't really see very much now. I could risk doing a two here. Yeah, whoops, driving that truck off the road, but that's cool. So we've got about 15 minutes left. We are approaching Santa Cruz, California, getting off the highway now after having come down from San Francisco. Still snowing for our whole drive here. So two consecutive episodes with long drives of snow. So I might have to tweak those settings a little bit more, maybe kind of push and see what the default settings are because as much fun as it, it is driving in the snow, what I've noticed is it's actually like driving in the snow. Like I can feel my eye fatigue here a little bit from doing this. And because it was kind of slow driving, you know, it, the trip took longer longer than it normally would take for a 12 hour drive in this game. Again, like the time compression is 19 to one. I think I was going right, 19 to one. So, you know, a 12 hour drive counting cities and stuff like that's probably, I'm gonna guess maybe takes about an hour to do normally, but this took probably a, about a little bit over an hour. So like after kind of, you have to concentrate with the vision, with the kind of the, the uh, kind of the, the distance you can see and stuff like that, the clarity and everything like that. You just don't have, oh, yep, Santa Cruz discovered five of 22 cities. 
you just don't have that the depth of vision that you can see and so you kind of got to pay attention and really concentrate so it was definitely a, a challenging fun drive but here we are it looks like we're at another construction site which would make sense outside of santa cruz so we'll get this uh, dynamite dropped off looks like our home and also just one thing there was uh, no fines no tickets and we didn't hit anything so 12 hour drive for that pretty good under these conditions i feel like that was pretty good we should have gotten a red light fine at one point but we didn't ah i was hoping for a 90 40 xp wow that looks like an odd place to park it but i think we can go to the right and just go past it and then just drop it in right this way okay that's helpful that's one of the fun things about the game no matter how much you've driven chances are to skip you're going to get Come on, get the sign out of the way. Gotta see where the parking is. Chances are you're gonna... Oh, here it is, right here. So, we just have to bend it in here. It shouldn't be too hard, right? I think. Looks like we can go straight back at it, right? From this angle here. Just look out the window. Uh, just go right back at it. See what we can do here. Straight, and then curve it at the last second, maybe, huh? Yeah. Just a touch late on that. I want to straighten it out. There we go. Got to bend it now. Faster. Stronger. There we go. Straight. Ah, oh, we didn't get it. I don't think we got it. Too crooked. There we go. Now we're in. Dynamite delivered. Excellent. Perfect. Let's get our money here. Now we started with eighty-one thousand, and then we ha our drivers lost two thousand. We bought a dog for fifteen hundred. We had to get gas. We had to pay our loan. So we lost ten thousand while we were driving. So we are still short of that. Ooh, we're getting close to level nineteen though. That's good. But I think we're still short on how much money we need. Yeah, we have one hundred eight thousand, and we need about one hundred and twenty something thousand to get that Peterbilt. So it looks like next episode we'll buy a new truck, but that's okay because this was kind of a long delivery in either case. So thanks so much for tuning in. Help me name the dog. You can see him in there too. We look through the passenger cab. What should we name our dog? Should we get any other pets? You can get a cat too. Although I want to kind of take things a little bit slow with such responsibility. So uh, let me know what you think we should name him. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, please consider subscribing. We'll be back again soon for more driving in America, working towards our third truck and see if we can solve the economic woes of Ahmed and Jenna Kay, who just refuse to make us money. Thanks everybody for tuning in. We'll see you in the next episode. Thanks. Bye.